Hey guys, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and things are about to get a little crazy around here. This pandemic has everyone going completely insane. And I don't know what your state is like right now, but in Ohio, uh, starting today actually, the stores are placing a limit on how many people can be in a store at one time. Uh, when I went to go pick up my groceries at Walmart on Friday, they hadn't implemented everything just yet, but they had one entrance completely blocked off. They had the other entrance with like shopping carts all taped together with like a queue for people to go in. And there is an employee standing right outside the door. He wasn't stopping anybody from going in, so I don't know whether they just didn't hit the limit yet or what, but they're getting ready for it. And I saw so many people, both at Walmart and Aldi, wearing face masks and gloves. This whole thing is just insane. And I posted on Instagram earlier that I'm not afraid of the virus. I'm not really afraid of getting it. I'm afraid of the people. And I'm afraid of what the people might do, like, as a whole. Especially with the limit being placed on how many people can go into a store. I don't want them going crazy on me. So I think what I'm gonna do for the next few weeks or so is do online only shopping. Whether that is uh, Walmart or Kroger Clicklist, either one of the two. And as much as I love Aldi's produce, as much as I love going and picking out my own, it's just not worth it to me right now. So um, I'm just gonna do online only for a bit and see how that goes. But in the meantime, let me show you what I bought this week. Here is my small haul from Mr. Max Grocery Outlet. I really just went to pick up snacks because we were running low on snack bars and I knew that they had the cheapest ones around. So I also needed to get some chicken sausages. So let me show you those first. I got both of the Idels brands. This one is the Italian style margarita and there's four in the package. Um, I like this brand because they have really good ingredients. Plus look at the price. $1.75 each and they retail for like four or five dollars at the regular grocery store and this one is the habanero and green chili which should be really good but I'm going to use one for dinner this week and then save one for another week. These are the only two types that they had otherwise I would have gotten maybe a couple more. But then for Allison I have some Annie's cookie dough protein bars. This is the chocolate peanut butter. She really enjoys these. And then for John, I got two boxes of Lara bars. One is the chocolate hazelnut swirl, and the other one is the key lime pie. We have not tried this one, I don't think. This one right here is really good. And then I have some Mom's Best Cereals, the Safari Cocoa Crunch for Allison's breakfast. And then also, like for her lunches, I was looking for some sort of like cracker or snack type item. So I found these Quaker Cheddar Rice Crisps. And she seemed pretty excited about those. I actually did really good today. I was very tempted to buy all the cookies and all the candy, but I stopped in, I got what I needed, and I got out. I just got back from Walmart and Aldi, and thankfully neither was too bad. I was able to get pretty much everything. So I'll start over here. I have some zucchini that I'm just going to roast up as a side item for a recipe. Got some bell peppers. I'm gonna make some sausage and peppers and onions. And then I am trying this ground turkey. This is 93% lean. The frozen rolls that I buy are 85, I think. So I wanted to try this one. This is like $2 more than the roll, but I wanted to see how it tastes and see if I wanna start buying this instead. And then got some more strawberries for Allison's lunches. And I picked up some goat cheese. I was deciding either between goat cheese or hummus, and I've had hummus for the past couple weeks. So I figured I will have some goat cheese to go with my snacks. This is the garlic and herb one. It's really good. And then I bought three different blocks of cheese. I'm just gonna use them for different things. Mozzarella, I'm gonna shred up for some pizzas. The cheddar, I think I'm gonna shred for another recipe. And then the Colby Jack here, I'm just going to cube up for Allison's lunches. And then I grabbed two more bags of frozen broccoli. I've been using at least one or two a week, so I like to have a good supply of those. And then a big head of cauliflower. I'm just gonna chop up and eat with snacks. 
I bought two more containers of cottage cheese again for breakfast and then two containers of Greek yogurt. These actually went down in price from $3.49 to $2.99 each, which was awesome. And then four more cans of tuna. There is a limit of four cans, and I've just been kind of buying four whenever I go just to stock up the pantry because I'll eat these as a snack. They're easy for like tuna melts. And then bought some more almond milk for my smoothies. And then for John, I got some white chocolate mocha coffee creamer. That sounded really good. And then just a bag of onions. I will chop those up and use them in miscellaneous recipes. Bought another three pound bag of gala apples. And then some whole wheat tortillas that I'm gonna be using in a recipe. And then a two pound bag of carrots. I'm gonna shred up some of these and make some carrot muffins for myself. And then a whole bunch of bananas. I bought some last week and ended up having to freeze some of them, which is good because I use them in my smoothies too. And then two bags of spinach I'll be using for miscellaneous things. And then two dozen eggs. We've been eating a ton of eggs recently. And then a loaf of bread that I'm gonna use for French toast. And then two bags of grapes because they were 99 cents a pound and I try to buy as many as I can when they are that low of a price. So here is all of Aldi. And then I did Walmart's grocery pickup. So I will start with these uh, Lance Toast cheese crackers. These are the only ones that Allison will eat. It's the cheese crackers with the cheddar cheese. And then this was one of my substitutions. I just ordered the regular thin wheat crackers and they gave me reduced fat, which no big deal. And then just a big container of vinegar. Since there is a limit of two dozen eggs at Aldi, I ordered 18 eggs from Walmart because I know we're gonna use all of them. I ordered some pizza sauce to go with pizza. And this is the other substitution that they gave me. It's not really my favorite. I wanted two bags of just plain frozen Brussels sprouts and they gave me the Green Giant in butter sauce. So, I mean, no big deal. I will eat it. I, if I really have to, I will just uh, rinse it off after cooking. But there's that. I got three boxes instead of two bags. And then I got some more K-Cups. This caramel cream, seriously, is the best. I got some last week too, and I knew I had to get more. I got one of these Starburst yogurts for free at Kroger recently. And Allison took a bite and said she loved it. So I got her two orange and two strawberry. Strangely enough, they put a limit on yogurts too. You can only buy two of the same type. I was noticing that. And then some flat out flatbreads. I'm going to use these for flatbread pizzas. And then a gallon of milk. And then this technically is not part of grocery, but I wanted to show you just because I put it on the Walmart order anyway. Since we have to celebrate Easter at home, I'm doing an Easter egg hunt for Allison outside. So got 48 eggs and then a bunch of candy that I'll put inside each one. I'll probably do that the Saturday before Easter. So it's going to be awesome. I'll show you guys pictures later. But here is all of my grocery total for the week. I will be right back with the total. So we did end up raising our grocery budget to $100 a week for a family of three. Uh, so my total for this week was $92.54. And I'm gonna start setting aside $5 again for Sam's Club runs, finally. I just haven't spending too much money and I haven't had enough to set aside for Sam's. So I've got an extra $5 to put aside, which is good because we're gonna need some stuff soon like paper towels, tissues, Wish me luck because I don't know if Sam's Club has any of that in stock, but we will see. So let me show you what's on the menu this week. Let me show you what's on the menu. We are starting on Sunday with quesadillas with the ground turkey and cheese. And we're serving that with some roasted zucchini on the side. We've also got salsa and then Greek yogurt that we can use kind of like sour cream to dip them in. And then Monday, we're making buffalo chicken mac and cheese. I've had this recipe, I think, once before, and it is delicious. I'll be sure to add the link to this and any other recipes in the description. And we'll just have that with some frozen broccoli or whatever vegetables I can find in the freezer. And then Tuesday, 
I'm taking one of those packages of chicken sausages that I bought. I'm going to cook them with some sliced peppers and onion. We'll serve it with rice. I might make some bread to go with it. I'm not sure yet. And then Wednesday, we're having chicken flatbread pizzas. And I made this a couple weeks ago. It turned out awesome and we loved it. So we're going to do it again. It's just shredded chicken and then pizza sauce and mozzarella and Parmesan cheese on a flatbread. And then you bake it in the oven. I think I did it for, let's see, 350 degrees for like 10 minutes. And it was just enough to melt the cheese. We'll have some frozen veggies to go with that. And then Thursday, I'm making spinach mozzarella egg bake. This is a super easy recipe with just eggs and mozzarella cheese. And then we'll have some fruit to go with it, probably the grapes. And then Friday, easy pancakes. And we always try to do some sort of breakfast recipe for dinner to save money. This one is kind of like a breakfast one too, but I usually just make that for dinner. So then pancakes with some scrambled eggs and bananas. And then Saturday is always leftovers, although last week I actually didn't have enough leftovers, so we had to pull some stuff out of the pantry, but we'll see if we have enough for this week. And as far as breakfast goes, I'm making some carrot muffins for myself. I made these a couple weeks ago, and I made them in the giant muffin tins, so I got six huge muffins, and I just love them. I don't know if you guys, like eat the same breakfast every single day for weeks on end, I could totally eat this every day. So I'd serve it with some peanut butter on top and a drizzle of honey and then some cottage cheese. Like it keeps me full for hours. And then Allison is having cereal for breakfast. And then for John, I'm making some French toast with that loaf of bread that I bought. And then lunch is always leftovers. And then let me show you what I did last week. Because I was finding that I was spending like an hour just deciding what to make for dinner for the next week. And it was driving me crazy. So I got out my monthly meal planner here. And then I just wrote like dinner ideas for the entire month. Now, I'm not going to do the exact meal on the exact day. They're not like married to the day. So if I decide I want to do a sheet pan dinner over here instead... I can do that, but at least this way I have 30 meal ideas and I know that I can at least pick from seven of these every week and I know what I'm going to be making and it all depends on what's on sale too. I could like put the chicken ones up here because chicken's on sale and then as you can see I've always got my pancakes, I've always got my leftovers, so that takes care of like eight meals right there. So I don't do this very often, but I really think I should. So I did trying it for April. I'm going to try it again for May. And I want to know for you guys, do you meal plan monthly or do you do it weekly? Or do you have like a rotating list of meal ideas? Leave me a comment and let me know. I'm curious. If you like the weekly menu planner I was using, you can find a link to it in the description below. It's totally free to print. Also, if you want to try Walmart grocery pickup, I've got a code in the description. If you click that link and you sign up, then we will both get $10 off a $50 purchase. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get notified on when I post my grocery hauls, recipes, and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you later.